Hey guys, Kings Island Fanboy here, and welcome back to another episode of Roller Coaster Safety 101. In this episode, we'll be talking about ride operating systems and how they keep rides safe. Now, when I say ride operating systems, I mean the programming that comes along with a roller coaster or an amusement ride to help keep them safe by monitoring trains, sensors, or anything else that the ride has. Let's start off with block sections. This is easily the hardest thing to understand about roller coasters, but I'll try my best to explain it. Block zones are sections of track on roller coasters that allow roller coasters to run more than one train. Now at the end of each of these block zones is a section of track that allows a train to safely come to a complete stop. This prevents roller coaster trains from colliding. The ride's computer system carefully monitors where trains are on the track. If it detects that a block zone is full, it will not let another train enter that block zone until the other train has cleared it. Take a look at this Diamondback block zone setup. Diamondback has six block zones and runs three trains. If there is a train in the station and a train going up the lift hill, the ride system will not let the train in the station leave the station to enter the lift hill until the train on the lift hill has entered block A. This is also true for the rest of the ride. If there's a train on block A and a train going up the lift hill, the train on the lift hill will not be able to crest the lift hill until block A is clear and the other train has entered block B. These systems are extremely sensitive and if the computer system detects anything wrong, it will shut the entire ride down immediately. With these systems being so sensitive, it can cause a ride to have a lot of downtime, but it's all in the name of safety. Of course, there are exceptions to the block zone system. Roller coasters that run one train may not have block zones as they do not need to worry about them. But block zones are not the only thing computer systems monitor. Computer systems also monitor pretty much every moving part on a roller coaster. If a brake stops working or a launch segment goes out, the computer system will throw an error and the whole ride will shut down. All trains will stop at the next designated stopping point. A good example of this is Top Thrill Dragster. Each one of the brake fins on the launch track has to lower before the train is able to launch. Each one of these brake fins has a sensor, and if one of the brake fins isn't lower, or one of the sensors throws an error, the whole ride will shut down. On a lot of newer coasters, the restraints have sensors too. A train will not be able to be dispatched if a train is not lowered enough. All of this in-depth programming works to keep roller coasters operating safely. It may not be the most efficient, as some of these systems may cause a lot of downtime, but they do keep roller coasters very safe. Well, that's all for this episode of Roller Coaster Safety 101. I want to see you guys in the next one where we'll talk about mechanics of roller coasters from upstop wheels to anti-rollbacks and restraint systems. So again, that's all for this video. I want to hear you guys think down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!